I'm Julia, and I grew up in a very small village in Austria. That led me to my passion and love for nature. I spent most of my free time running or cycling around in the mountains. While these adventures, I met mosologists, which told me about lichen. But I was very surprised by the fact that it's not a plant like I assumed. It's also not a moss at all. It's a crypto cryptogam. I not even can't pronounce it. It's a, a strange <laughs> word. <laughs> it's a symbiosis of fungi and lichen. Lichen are all the, are the bioindicators. They show how healthy our environment is just by their presence, because they can grow just in clean air and only in clean air. I soon discovered that there are thousands of lichen. So I started to work together with lichenologists around the world. I wanted to know what is lichen and would I able to eat it? Could we live off these wild organisms, what we are actually stepping on? Would it make sense to eat it and how would it taste? Very important was to taking a research into the historical and the cultural value of lichen, since it showed already up from 1700 to 1919 in Northern Europe. People used it already there as a sort of um, poverty food. They used it to come over this food shortage. Lichen is very resistant. It really can grow everywhere, and it can grow under the most harsh conditions. It even grows when plants stop doing this. Lichen is one of the oldest organisms on life, on the world. It was even here before humans. Lichen has a really great composition of nutritional values. So I would classify them as a superfood, if I may use this term. But I really got so excited and it blowed my mind when I figured out that the common yellow lichen would be the first organism who can grow on Mars. Could be lichen a food source on Mars? So again, I talked to lichenologists and they told me, yeah, it should be edible. And uh, I started to trying out things. There, the point of unseen edible my project started to really go further. With uh, my project, Anzin Edible, I want to show a perspective on how we could use something so simple, what we are surrounded by all the days, but we not even know it, because it's kind of invisible, um, <laughs> having it a food source. I wanted to show how this could be implemented in our daily life, how it would be even in supermarkets, and what people can do with it, what they can make with it, and how they can include it into their daily diet. Lichen could be contributed into the agricultural economy, since it would make more than thousands of jobs. That's why I introduce you now the restorer, which here removes lichen just because it's seen as a waste material. Lichen is seen also as a pest or that it's ugly. And it's so underestimated. Same is for fruit farmers. Now they could be also lichen farmers, since they would be possible to harvest even through winter times. The fruit farmers are normally not really pleased by the fact that lichen are on the trees because sometimes they even think that it's illness. How to harvest lichen? I created a palette of tools to make it easier to individuals to harvest it, since it's kind of a process to do it. The much more important question was if it's sustainable. 
together with a mathematician, I calculated some facts. And here you see the, on the left side the biomass of lichen next to the human. And human just put up as a needle, a tiny needle, in this huge mass of lichen. I was also very fascinated by this fact because I, was, I didn't know that myself. And it would be even theoretically uh, seen or could be seen as a, a mass food. Lichen is really spread across the world. It just is, is sensitive to pollution. That's the only thing. But it's already spreading across cities and farmed areas since it's smoothed at itself, especially the yellow lichen. Lichen can grow easier, even multiplied, if it's already on this area or on the area, because then the, the environment fits already and lichen can just grow there as its natural habit. But you need patience. Knowing this, now I really wanted to try lichen. I wanted to see how to make a recognizable food source out of it. I tried Icelandic lichen, the first lichen I ever tried. And I started with something very simple. I made a bread. And I was very surprised by the fact that it has an extraordinary taste and it was even very tasty. Other than uh, like knowledge told me, because they said, yeah, it's edible, but it won't have a great taste. It's, it's very bitter. That's also the reason why people stopped in former times eating it. I tried a variety of percentage of lichen inside just to see what's possible. And I got even more brave making soup out of it, where the taste of lichen is even, even stronger. I started to create some uh, formalities of, uh, of recipes inside. That's where I had my first lichen tasting, inviting a group of people and uh, yeah, giving it my lichen products. They were very curious and they tried it in the end. They were even pleased by the taste, but they were a bit skeptic before, so they asked, is it really edible? Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> what, what is lichen, actually? And why should I eat it? After a sum, summing up this, I wanted to see how to bring this knowledge to people and really making them eating lichen and that they know the facts about lichen because it's so unknown, even though we are surrounded by it. I decided to make a docu fiction called Unseen Edible. For this film set, I created this set of, of different lichen based food products and um, it would even bring the nutritional value on the top having this extraordinary taste what I myself was it was the first time for me having something weird in my mouth but I really like it now <laughs> and uh, I'm even eating it now on my daily base <laughs> and on this on this picture, you see the variety of lichen, because even though it's seen in the economy as something ugly sometimes, it's in detail so aesthetically. And I wanted to show people how beautiful they are and that it's able to eat it. And now I hope you come on board with me having lichen soon on your daily diet. diet. And uh, also today is your lucky day. <laughs> and I brought lichen with me all the way from Austria. And um, yeah, there will be a table with, uh, with some tryouts. There will be lichen bread 
lichen butter and lichen pesto, pure lichen and lichen schnaps. <laughs> so please come, <laughs> and I would like to know about this. Thank you.